Hello YouTube, it's Archbear76. Um, just got done watching Maria's video, her rant, her third rant. Um, and I'm pissed too. <laughs> I'm pissed, I, I have to admit. Um, and I know what she meant about wanting to stand up and be that asshole. <laughs> well, Maria, I, I, can, I am that asshole when, when the situation presents itself. Um, when I feel like something unjust is being done, that's what, I mean, my anger would be justified, it is, but basically, um, it's like the Bible says, that, like in the end times, people will be willfully ignorant. And that means uh, stupid on purpose, or, or to not know on purpose. I don't want to know, you know, and I feel that that's what neurology is doing. That they're being willfully ignorant. That they're seeing something outside of what they've done for the last hundred years and saying, I, I don't want to know about it. Ah, blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> don't stop talking, Zamboni. Shh. Stop talking about things that are outside uh, the paradigm that we've lived with for so long. And at first it was frustrating and almost humorous. I, I kind of laughed at him for a while. Um, at neurology, you know, cl clutching and clinging on to that least, that little small amount of control they still had. But now it's to the point where I'm, I'm mad, I'm angry, and it's just anger. So, um, so here's what my thought is for the day. Class action lawsuit. Class action lawsuit from the toppermost to the poppermost of us who have MS. I think we all need to sue the American Medical Association. I don't know. National Institutes of Health, whatever. Whomever. Someone's going to pay for what they're doing. They are intentionally and deliberately keeping us from getting care that we need to get done. Period. It is like telling us you have multiple, you get diagnosed with a curable type of cancer. Uh, maybe, let's say you're like stage one non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and they find it. Do you think for one minute they would say, well, we're not going to treat this non-Hodgkin's lymphoma because they're an MS patient. Why would we treat a lymphoma? Why would we treat cancer? It's the same rationale. We can't sugarcoat it or, or I, make excuses for them anymore. What they are basically saying is because we have a neurological disorder and because they believe that CCSVI is not the catalyst or the causation for this neurological disorder, that they're not going to look into it. There are lies being told and misinformation being told daily, okay? And I'm sick of it. Two people did not die. One person did not die. One person died from anticoagulation therapy, which happens every day. Post-op, you're on Coumadin or, you know, uh, low molecular weight heparin like uh, Lovenox or something. People die from that. Is it unfortunate? Yes. Is it a fact of life? Yes. So th they're, they're basically lying. They're saying that Zamboni's, you know, been pushing for stents. Zamboni doesn't want to do stents until they've been designed and been proven to be safe. Period. He doesn't want to use a square peg for a round hole. He doesn't want to use a stent for, for an artery in a, in a vein. Hey, I agree with him. Let's not stent until, you know, we can, a safe stent's been established. They are basically stopping this from, from taking flight on rumors, on misinformation, on half-truths. And it's getting old. It's getting to the point now where they are causing my brothers and sisters to get worse in their disease. Period. Where they could go in and get tested and get an angioplasty done on the vein, a venoplasty. Where they could go in and have that done. And it, if it's early enough, it will stop what's going on. Yeah, it's unforgivable. It is evil to the height, to the umpteenth power, evil to withhold medical treatment from someone because they have a disease. Yes, we have multiple sclerosis. And yes, we more than likely have cerebrospinal venous insufficiency. It's no different than having MS and having type 2 diabetes or having MS and having 
uh, migraine headaches. They cannot. It is un it is unhippocratic. It's it's hell. It's unconstitutional to to deny us vascular treatment because we have another disease. It's lunacy. I'm shocked. I trust me, America. I didn't think America could shock me anymore with our apathy and with our, you know, pursuit of the big dollar and people aren't worth anything, you know, money's so important. But to actually withhold cardiovascular treatment that's needed in order to make more money from, from drugs, it's unforgivable. Unforgivable. That's it. That's all. I, I really, I'm about to lose my composure. I, I don't really want to say or do anything real bad. So, um, so we're just going to have to sue them. They cannot. It's it, it's against every ethics code law that this nation was built on to withhold medical treatment from someone just because there's a controversy that there may or may not be a link between some other disease that we all have. If you really think about it, if you are a lawyer and you see this, I don't even care if you're a civil liberties lawyer, because it's really a, a civil liberties issue as well as a medical issue, and you see this video, please contact me. I would like to have a class action lawsuit yesterday. Sorry for the negativity. I'm positive about most things. MS won't destroy us. You know, I'll say all those things a hundred billion times. I'm sorry for my, um, for my anger, but it's just anger. And that comes from someone else. So I love you guys. God bless. Let's get them because they deserve it. Bye.